Hello everyone, this is Mr. Barnard. I'm going to go over um, how to edit uh, your uh, project after you have uh, recorded all your tracks that you need. Uh, what you see here is my finished uh, product as far as recording goes. Here I have all three tracks of my trio. That is the Rosamund Trio, Clarinet Trio. And um, so basically what you see here is you see section A of 17 measures and actually yes it looks like it's 18 measures sorry and I also have uh, section B uh, which also has a little bit of extra room right here so basically I have here what I needed to record for my project because everything else that I'm going to do is dealing with editing so let me just play a little bit of this for you I'll move this around a little bit for you so you can hear it. So basically I have all three tracks recorded. So this is the first section of Rosamund, the first 16 measures, with a little extra room at the end. I'll bring this over here. And again, at the end I have some room, uh, just in case for error. I have room there. Then here's my section B. So I'll move this over here a little bit. Okay, and there I have what I needed as far as recording my uh, GarageBand project. So before I get into the editing, there's a couple of things we need to make sure that we do. First thing you should do is make sure that uh, your piece is labeled. Okay, make sure it says Rosamond or whatever piece that you chose to do. What I suggest you would do is do this. If you were to choose Rosamond, then after that you could put first name, last initial. So I'm going to do Rosamond dash Barnard. Okay, that way I've got my project titled. Okay, and you can probably see some copies that I've made already of this. So the next step to do before you edit anything is to make a copy of your project. So basically, if you saw what I just did there, I pressed and held down onto the project and all the projects are now shaking and the project that I want to copy is now highlighted in blue. So in order to copy that, all I got to do is hit the... Uh, the plus sign that's right next to your share button on the upper left hand corner. Don't hit the trash can. I'm going to hit that plus. And now I'm duplicating my song. And now I have a copy of Rosamund. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And I'm going to edit my copy. And I'm going to use this to do my editing. This is very important in case uh, if for some reason you make a really, really big mistake that we can't fix, um, we can always refer back to your other copy and make a copy from so you don't have to start all over from scratch with the recording and all that stuff so very very important to have that copy okay alright so now there's a couple things I want to show you before we get started okay uh, one thing again if you hit that plus button right next to your question mark that's your song section sections there make sure you have all sections selected so that way you can see your whole project. So here I have section A, section B, and section C, all right there, okay? So in Rosamund and in a lot of the pieces, you have repeats, right? So you only need to record those once as far as using uh, technology in GarageBand. So the very first thing I am going to do is literally copy and paste. So if I hold down or double click, on uh, my first track, I'm going to make a copy of that track. I'm going to drag this indicator over. Okay, and then I'm going to click over there and I'm going to paste. Okay, now notice that my um, track indicator, not my track indicator, the timer up here, it moves once you paste. So you need to make sure that you move this back over here. So now I'm going to copy my next track, copy, 
click over here, paste, good. Again, drag over, copy, back over here, paste. Okay, so there, this just did a real simple copy and paste. Okay, so if we listen, okay, we got section A. We got that dead space that we're gonna fix here in a little bit. Here's section B. And here's our copy of our section B coming up here shortly. Okay, so that's the copy and paste feature, which is really, really nice. Okay. So now I have basically all everything that I needed as far as project material, as far as recorded stuff, okay, on, on my uh, project. So now the next thing I'm going to do is um, dealing with splitting tracks, okay, because we have all this dead space. So between section A and section B, we got this dead space that we need to get rid of. So we have to tighten this all up because we've got all this dead air. That we need to fix. We have the same thing over here too. We have that air we need to fix. Okay, so we want to basically get some editing done so we can make these tracks seem seamless. So, before I do any splitting, track splitting, let me show you another cool feature with GarageBand or basically just the iPad that we most of us know about. If you can grab your screen and pinch it, you can spread out, you can spread out your tracks. Okay, this is very important when you're doing real fine uh, editing with GarageBand. So if I take my fingers and pinch them back in, okay, you can just basically make that compact, compact again. Okay, so you got the spread, and again, you got it closed up. Okay, all right, cool. So now I'm going to show you guys how to split tracks. Okay, so if I click on a particular track, Okay, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to spread out. Okay, if I want to click on a particular track, again, you double click. You got your options of cutting, copying, pasting. Okay, you got delete, you can loop, and you've got this split feature. This is really important. The split feature, if you click on that, it creates a pair of scissors. So if I split that, Okay, basically what I have done is now I have this little extra part that I can actually delete away and I can clean up uh, my track. If you make a mistake, you always have the redo button. Okay, that's right up next to the microphone icon. So I hit that, I can bring that back. Uh, another cool thing that you can do is you don't have to do one track at a time. So you can literally just split all three tracks at the same time. So if you hit on the bottom of your project here, there it has select all. If I click on that, all three tracks light up. And that way you can split all three tracks at the same time. So I'm gonna split this track here, or all three tracks at the same time. So I need to basically play and listen and make sure that I'm split in the right spot. Oh, let me back that up a little bit because it goes by pretty fast. Okay, I stopped there. You might need to do this a couple times just to get used to hearing it. Okay, and I'm going to stop right there. So now if I click on that top track, I click on split. There's my scissors. Now I'm going to slide down. And now I've got all three tracks split at the same time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and delete that extra bit. And do the same thing there. Okay, so now if I close this up, okay, I'm gonna listen. Make sure I didn't cut off my track either. Okay, because you wanna watch those waves. Okay, you don't want to cut off your sound. And that's a pretty good clean break, okay? So I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, again, if for some reason 
you make a mistake, you always have that redo button that, that, that'll take you right back. So now, the next thing I want to do is connect these sections together, A and B. So this is pretty simple. If I click on this track here, I can literally drag this over. Okay, and you got to be careful with not going over the tracks. So again, I'm going to spread out a little bit so I can get a little bit closer. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm going to keep that there. There's a little bit of space in there. But to the ear, you might not notice it. Okay, so we'll listen, see what we get here. Okay, there's still a little bit of space in there. So I'm gonna spread this out a little bit more. Try to get this a little bit closer. Now let's listen to it. Let me try that again. Not bad, but I think I can get a little closer. Here's another cool thing you can do. You can actually click on a track and you can kind of layer up on top of the other track. It's not going to affect not going to cut off the sound as long as you don't cut off the sound wave. Let's listen to this. That's pretty good. I like it. I'm keeping it. Okay. So that's good. So basically that's the process that you need to do as far as splitting, dragging tracks. So basically I need to finish that over here too. Okay. So basically all I gotta do is the same process that I did way back over here between sections A and B. I just do the same thing with section B and C. Okay? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off here for now. But that is basically uh, your editing tools that you have here for GarageBand. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.